change, I suppose, because at times, not necessarily on this, what now, six match on beaten run, their attitude has let them down in this competition, Liam. Yeah, they've uh, uh, been traditional slow starters, but they've really pulled this qualification out of the fire, Dara. They, they were in real trouble at home against Bayern Munich, and Aguero got them out of the trouble with some exquisite finishes. Uh, this time round, good team performance. Roma lacked a cutting edge up front, and uh, you know that proved to be their undoing. But as the game war went on, City got stronger. It's a great goal by Nasri, mind. What a tremendous goal he scored. Um, and uh, thoroughly deserved. I'm, I'm really pleased for Manuel Pellegrini. There's something really endearing about that man. He looks as if he hates his job. He looks <laughs> as if he got the weight of the world on his shoulders. But he always comes out and he's always honest about his team's performance. He never panics. Uh, there's been a lot of pressure on him to qualify uh, you know, with, the, with the money spent. So I'm really delighted for him. Well, there, there must be the, the weight, of world, weight of the world on the guy's shoulders. There's a quote which we came across recently from Nasri. This was, I think, before match day five. And he said, if we don't get through, Manchester City, if we don't get through, there'll be a massive clear out next year. There'll be new players, new everything, he said. So to be performing under that kind of pressure for, for a manager. Well, I think, those guys, I, think, I think those guys are used to it, Dara. You know, he's been... Um, manager at Real Madrid and hasn't he been yeah. manager at Madrid yeah. so they, those guys are used to it and he knows the score you know if you don't qualify with the money spent your job is in jeopardy but he just seems to get on with it he doesn't seem he never blames anybody he's just got a good way about him and I'm so pleased for him. Richie pressure that kind of pressure well, that, say, Nasri spoke about? You, you go back a little while ago to the earlier part of this group stages. I don't know how many people would have been overly confident of City qualifying with the two fixtures they had left, knowing that they had to win the two games. So it's a big turnaround in, in, in the group so far. But I'd agree with Liam. Pellegrini handles himself superbly under what must be difficult conditions. He may be used to them, but he... Uh, even before, even when we were talking before the show tonight, we are talking about, will Pelle Pellegrini's job, is it at risk? if they don't qualify. So it was a huge result, fully deserved win. Um, and I'm pleased for them, yeah. Yeah, and, and to do it with, we listed them before the match, the, the players that they, mm. they were missing. You know, they Noah were, but Guerra, again, as, as we said, they weren't duds that came in. I mean, these, these are all quality players that came in. Yeah. And I was disappointed with Roma in that second half. From what we saw in the first half, they looked lively in midfield, they created opportunities. Their vulnerability at the back continued into the second half, but they didn't offer much at all up front particularly in that second half, and Totti was anonymous, really, the longer the game went on. So, fully deserved win from City. Mm. I, I know you say, but we certainly are not talking about duds, but like mm. somebody like Aguero, what, 19 goals in 20 games, like he's, yeah, he's, he's damn Jovetic hard to replace. Yeah. On, uh, you've got Jovetic coming on, Dara. You've got Jovetic coming on, and Silva. You know, they've got some, they had a great bench, they didn't bring Lampard, uh, Lampard on. Um, but is this the bare minimum that we should be expecting from that quality that oh, they absolutely. have to when be in the last 16? They should 16. never have been in any trouble in this group. I think they dropped points against CSKA, yeah. didn't they? You know, so, mm. And they had a bad result at home against this Roma team. And Roma are no great shakes. Italian football at the moment is very, very poor. You know, you have to go back to 2010 and the last time an Italian team won, won it's the championship. not that champion. long ago. No, it's not that long ago. And that's when... In, in the noughties, is that what they call them? Yes. Yeah, they were strong. <laughs> but, you know, since, since four years ago, there's no money being spent. AC Milan and, uh, and, Inter. and Inter Milan are languishing in the mid-table mid in Syria. Two huge clubs. The money's just not there anymore. And you saw the subs that Roma brought on compared to who the guys at Man City, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's the story. So why were, why were City in this position, John, in the first place? They've well, had a reaction in, in the last number of weeks in the Premier League. They're, only, they're right up there with Chelsea well, when Chelsea, people thought it was I over. I think the last couple of weeks I've seen them in the Premiership, Derek, they have an urgency about them that they didn't have at the start of the season, that, that you should have. And they, they have played better in recent times. Uh, Aguero has been outstanding for them, as we know. They got out of jail in this competition because Aguero actually got them out of trouble uh, against Munich at, at, um, in Manchester. You know, they looked dead and buried... Uh, Bayern Munich were controlling the game with 10 men and Aguero was absolutely brilliant I know he didn't play tonight but it, it set it up if he hadn't done his stuff on that night it wouldn't have set it up for tonight but tonight they were good they did their stuff they did well they got out of jail in many ways in this competition because early on that it was at CK CSK, they, played, yeah. they, were, they were what two up I think wasn't there in yeah, they were in a winning match. position and kind of blew it and yeah. blew it so they yeah. blew a couple, of, a couple of matches that you usually can't afford to do 
So when they did get into trouble, to be fair to them, they've stuck at it and they've come out of it and he has qualified. No matter how you do it, you do it. Yeah. And they've done it on, 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 in that particular way. But like that, I'd be, I'd be pleased for Pellegrini. He's good. He takes it, takes it in his stride. A lot of other managers in the Premiership, if they were doing what he was doing, they'd be up there and to be bragging and doing all sorts of different things now. So he's good. I'm pleased for him. Yeah. That's